Hello friends, we are discussing eukaryotic DNA replication. We have already discussed three steps of eukaryotic DNA replication, initiation, elongation and termination. We also discuss about primer removal in eukaryotic DNA replication. Today we are going to discuss about telomere and telomerase. Since eukaryotic DNA is linear, so there is problem in the replication of the ends. How it is overcome by the presence of telomere and by the presence of telomerase enzyme, this we are going to discuss in this video. We have already seen that prokaryotes have circular genome or we can say circular DNA molecule. These do not have telomeres, hence there is no end replication problem. But if we talk about eukaryotes, these have linear DNA molecule. All the RNA primers of newly synthesized strand is removed and replaced with DNA. Except one primer that is present at the 5 dash end. Hence both daughter DNA strands have an incomplete strand at 5 dash end with 3 dash overhangs of template. With each replication, daughter DNA is shortened and eventually entire DNA is lost. So if we see there are two daughter DNAs. This is the template and this is the newly synthesized strand of one DNA and this is the template strand and the newly synthesized strand of the other daughter DNA. So all the primer are removed and replaced by DNA except the primer that is present at the 5 dash end. Hence what we see that there is the 3 dash overhang of the template in both the daughter DNA. So what happens the daughter DNA is shortened with each replication and eventually the entire DNA is lost. So let us understand this. This is the template strand 5 dash to 3 dash is in this direction. We have taken lagging strand which is synthesized in the form of the Okazaki fragments. So for the synthesis of each fragment one primer is required. Once the entire template is replicated then the primer is removed and due to the removal of the primer gap is created or gap occurs. This is filled by the stretch of DNA that is synthesized by the DNA polymerase delta. But DNA polymerase delta requires 3 dash OH group for the extension of the strand. So here 3 dash OH group is present. It will extend the strand and fills the gap. Here also similar will be the case as 3 dash OH group is present. So it will extend the strand. After that nick is sealed by the DNA ligase. But if we see this primer which is present at the 5 dash end. So here 3 dash OH group is not present. So this gap is not filled. As a result of which this new strand is shorter than the template strand. And there is 3 dash overhang present since this is single stranded this overhang. So this single stranded 3 dash overhang is digested by the nuclease enzyme. As a result of which the daughter DNA that is obtained will be shorter than the parental DNA. This will be the case for the other's template strand and the newly synthesized leading strand. So what happens with each replication daughter DNA becomes shorter and shorter and eventually it is lost. How this is prevented or how shortening of chromosome is prevented. This shortening of chromosome is prevented by the presence of special repeats of sequences called telomeres at the ends of DNA in chromosomes. And these repetitive sequences code for no particular or no important genes. Hence important genes are protected from being deleted because shortening results in loss of telomeric regions. Example, in human, telomeres have repeated sequences of TTAGG about 15 to 20 kilobase pair at birth. 
However, even these are not unlimited. In normal somatic cells, telomeric regions are shortened with each round of DNA replication. And since these are limited, this may result in the loss of entire telomeric repeats after certain number of DNA replication. And once the telomeric region is lost or telomeric repeats are lost, there is risk of DNA losing coding sequences. And as the DNA starts losing coding sequences with each round of replication, it leads to replicative cell senescence or apoptosis. But this is not the case for germ cells. Germ cells are immortal. Because in germ cells, telomeres are maintained by telomerase enzyme, which is a ribonucleoprotein and consists of RNA, which is known as template encoding RNA molecule or in short term, and protein known as telomerase reverse transcriptases in short term. These telomerase enzymes resemble reverse transcriptases enzymes that synthesize DNA using RNA template. So what happens? Tip of a G-rich strand of existing telomere is recognized and elongated by telomerase using RNA template in 5- to 3- direction. This elongation is repeated for several rounds. These extensions then serves as a template for the synthesis of the complementary strand by DNA polymerase. Thus we can say telomerase gives chromosome stability over time. Now let us understand how telomeric region is maintained in certain cells like germ cells. This is the parental strand and this is the newly synthesized lagging strand. This strand is incomplete because as we have discussed earlier, the primer that is removed from the 5 dash end is not replaced by the stretch of DNA since it lacks 3 dash OH group and hence DNA polymerase delta is not able to fill the gap. But the region that is lost is telomeric region. So with each round of the DNA replication, certain telomeric region is lost. And as we have discussed earlier, that this telomeric region is also not unlimited. So a time comes when the entire telomeric region is lost and hence there is risk of DNA losing its coding sequences which may lead to replicative cell senescence or apoptosis. But in certain cells like germ cells, this telomeric region is maintained by the presence of the telomerase enzyme. Here we will discuss about the mechanism how telomerase enzyme maintains this telomeric region. This telomerase enzyme has protein component and RNA component. This RNA component recognizes the G-rich region of the existing telomeric region that is present in the parental strand and comes and pairs with it. Now this telomeric region is extended by the process of reverse transcriptase in which DNA is synthesized by using RNA as the template. This process is repeated for several rounds and hence the telomeric region is extended sufficiently. So now what happens after the DNA replication when the primer is removed from the 5 dash end, it cannot be replaced with the stretch of DNA. But here this gap is filled by the DNA polymerase delta. So the daughter DNA that is obtained is shorter than the parental DNA. So after each round of DNA replication, daughter DNA becomes shorter than the parental DNA. Hence certain region of the DNA is lost. But since telomeric region is maintained by the telomerase enzyme, so every time the region that is lost is telomeric region. And hence 
the important coding sequence of the DNA is not lost or maintained. In this way, telomerase gives chromosome stability over time. Or in other words, DNA is not lost after several rounds of DNA replication. Telomere shortening is associated with aging. Also, its length is affected by lifestyle and diet. Telomerase reactivation can help in treating age-related diseases in humans. This may contribute to the future of regenerative medicine. This is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.